We well, welcome. <laughs> Everybody awake? Everybody awake? No. <laughs> You sure can. Uh, make sure everyone's awake this morning. All right, we welcome everyone to this April 5th meeting of the Corsican ISD Board of Trustees. This is a special meeting, and all items that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby on the audience for guests form and follow the information on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals. Approve personnel and budgets, make policy, and provide oversight. We are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is the responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe that we must educate every child, provide every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and maintain a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. These are our core values, and we appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. Okay. All six of us are here, so we have a quorum. Ms. Harrison, is there an audience for guests? All right, there's no audience for guests. So we're going to have some discussion, one discussion and action item. Um, and I feel at this time we should probably talk about what we've been doing the past few weeks. Um, staying up late. Staying up late. <laughs> um, many hours, probably. 120 hours free uh, um, have been <laughs> free. I like that. Free. Probably 120 hours have been put in by every board member plus. 120 hours plus have been put in by every board member when we went to look for this new superintendent after Dr. Frost had announced her retirement. Um, and I'm going to let everybody speak for just a minute, but I just want to let everyone know, um, all of our constituents know that we took this very seriously, and we spent a lot of time, a lot of time, um, a lot of prayer, a lot of thought uh, went into this. Blood, sweat, and tears went into this. Uh, it, 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 was, it was a long, arduous process. And we feel that we picked the right superintendent for our future. But I'll let every other board member say, say their piece before we make a motion. <clears throat> I'll start off. Um, I'm a recruiter by trade. I've been in HR recruiting for, I hate to say this, over 25 years. Um, oh, I'm, sorry. I'm only 29. So I started very, very early in life. I know. But uh, that is what I do for a living, is recruit uh, and try to obtain the top talent in the industry in which I work in. So. Um, we, we have been very diligent in the review process of all the applicants. We had actually 30. We had 43 expressed interest. 30. 43 expressed interest to the search firm. 33 actually applied. Apply. So um, we went through 33 applications. Each candidate submitted a video interview. We reviewed those individually. Um, and then we came together to determine our top five. Um, so we went through the process uh, with our top five candidates to interview them uh, one on one. And uh, after we completed that process, then we uh, collectively um, narrowed down to our top two. And I know that's not the normal process, but as a, a professional recruiter, um, to me, I felt like I'm not going to get married after one date. I need to, uh, I need to know you better. I need to find out more. Um, and so after our first round of interviews, we, we had more questions. And so that is why we decided to have a second round of interviews. Uh, no, this position is like a CEO of a major company. This person is going to be managing over 800 employees. This person is going to be uh, responsible for over 6,000 children. And so we wanted to make sure that we did our part to find the right person, uh, the person we felt that was going to be uh, able to manage uh, this huge responsibility, 
but also be a part of our community and be a tiger every day. So after we did our first round of interviews, we narrowed it down to our top two. Uh, we had our final interviews on Monday, um, and then we had lengthy discussion about who we felt was going to be the best person to lead our district into the future, because as we know, every day it, our world is changing. Um, and so we wanted the, the absolute best person for that. Um, and so again, we had a lengthy discussion, um, and we feel we found that person. And we feel that CISD is going to continue to move in the right direction um, under strong leadership, and we're very proud of the process we went through. So. I guess I'll go next. I have so much to say, but Jamie already said it. Um, <laughs> Great job, Jamie. I guess I can say I have submitted my invoice to um, the district of my 120 hours. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Sorry, we, don't, Listen, we don't have a line. We don't have it? Okay. All right. It was a good deal. Good deal. It's all good. We can make it happen. Time zero. Just as long as I get it. Time zero. All right. Thank you. Uh, but no, um, she did She did say a lot. Um, this is my first round at this, um, and it was not easy. When, when Seth did say blood, sweat, and tears, literally, except for the blood. Um, but there was a lot of sweat. There was definitely a lot of tears. Um, and it, was, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It was, it was tough. It was something that I probably don't want to go through <laughs> again right away. So hopefully um, this, is, this is a longevity thing. This is not something that's just going to be a, a um, this is it, you know. Um, so I do believe that we all came to a great agreement. Um, and, and, and that we made the right decisions. And so this team is strong, man. This, <laughs> we learned a lot about each other. You know, I can say that. We, we did. We learned a whole lot about each other just during this process. Um, it pulled out things that, um, you know, maybe, maybe we've, we've had held in and stuff, you know. But, but it was good through it all, you know. That's, that's what trying times are meant to do. Um, it's supposed to sharpen you and make you stronger and, and as a team and move forward. And so um, we just hope that you guys trust us in this process and, and have trusted us along the way and continue to trust us. That's it. All right, I'm jumping in. <laughs> um, before, I can't say ditto anymore to Jamie's. <laughs> um, no, first off, I want to say um, thank you to admin and staff and community because during this process, um, I think you understood what we were going through, like the hard process of this, because I received calls and texts saying that you were praying for us. And um, so first I want to say thank you for all of that, because we felt it, we needed it. Um, those long hours in the in closed session um, were hard. And um, it grew us together stronger, and I love that fact. Um, and uh, I think because of that, we were able to come up with a great decision for um, CISD. So I want to thank all of thank you all for all of your support for us. Um, and in saying that, yes, lots of hours, lots of time, lots of prayers, and um, all that went into this. And I think we have an overall great decision to announce shortly. First thing, I want to thank Dr. Frost to get us this far, because that's where it, it all started at. And secondly, at a, at a 45 years of being in business, this is probably the hardest thing I ever did. And that's honest God. And we did, we put in a lot of iron, a lot of talking, and it, I mean, I've never been anything like this in my life. <laughs> and, uh, but, but we have a good cast up here, and we wanted to put somebody in here that will solidify this cast, and I think we have. And so, uh, and I want to thank the community, the administration, all y'all, Everybody, everybody had a part in this thing one way or another, not just us up here. Because it's not just about us, it's, it's about this whole district. Same way. My turn. <laughs> um, I just want to say to my board team, thank y'all for everything. Like everybody's saying, you know, did what James said at the, at the very beginning. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a process. We didn't take it lightly. And um, we stayed up late, you know, 10, I'm, we going, leaving here at 10.30. I 
like, oh my goodness, you know, I'm early, I go to bed early now. And so, <laughs> you know, so um, it was a process. So we, so y'all, we did not take it lightly. Y'all know me, I'm about the community. And I want the best thing for our next generation of young people, my grandbabies now. And so we want the best person that's gonna take the district to the next level, our community, you know, school, you know, training, teaching our kids so they can go out in the workforce, they can go off to college or whatever they choose to do. And so at the end of the day, we are blue and gold. You know, if you're not part of blue and gold, you don't need to be a part of our team, okay? So thank you. I mean, you know who I wanna give a, get a, give a round of applause to is Meryl. Because <laughs> Meryl, she made sure we got fed, she was up here with us. You know, she had to drive out to go home, you know. And so, Mary, I just want to say thank you so much for what you do, you've done this, these past, you know, month, month or so. And so, um, you know, I'll leave this, you know, Dr. Frost, thank you for everything. You know, thank you um, for pouring into us, pouring into your staff. Thank you. You know, and um, I know the person that we're going to, you know, a name t this morning is going to, you know, you're going to pass the baton to that person, and that person is going to do the, going to do the right thing. Thank you. One more thing. I just want to thank the community because, you know, we did take what you said to heart. Um, thank you to the staff. All those surveys, we painstakingly went through those. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of surveys. So I uh, just want to say thank you uh, again for all that. Uh, we took everything you said to heart. Um, and we know that we're not going to make everybody happy. That's not our job. It's, we're here to do the right thing for the right, for the right, for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to second the Merrill. Um, congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, and she gets a comp day. <laughs> I mean, she had to come up here on her day off. We she, already, she already took one. Okay, good. Good. Well, she needs two. She needs two. She needs two. Um, she needs two. Okay. No, uh, thank you, Meryl. I mean, that was amazing. Um, the amount of hours you put in extra yeah, that yeah. You, d you didn't have to, and appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Frost, for what you've done. Uh, you helped set up this process. Uh, we're going to miss you. We are. Thanks. <laughs> um, she may not but miss I'm us. excited. <laughs> she may not miss us. I mean, you know, um, but I'm excited about our, our next step forward. So I will entertain a motion now. I make a motion that we name Stephanie Howe as the next superintendent of Corsicana ISD. Long finalist. Long finalist. My name is Stephanie Howe as our lone finalist for CIC. It's not been seconded yet. Yeah, not yet. Not done yet. You got a second? You got a second? I second it. I second it. No. 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 Hold on. All right. We have a motion and a second to approve Stephanie Howe as our lone finalist for the CISD superintendent. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. The ayes have it. Congratulations, Ms. Howe. So what does loan finalist mean? Well, we have 21 days plus to come up with an agreement on a contract. So at this point in time, we are now in contract negotiations with Ms. Howe. That is the normal process for all this. That this is why you have a announced and loan finalist and you don't just hire right away. So we are now working on that contract with Ms. Howe. And uh, I think, what, when is the? The 29th, so 
March 29th. April. 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 It is still marching my mind, guys. Okay? <laughs> it is still marching my mind. Um, April the 29th, 2024. I got the right year. Um, April 29th, 2024. We will have a special meeting to finalize our superintendent process. So that way it's clear and transparent what we're doing. So we will announce, we will finalize that contract and elect Ms. Howe as our superintendent. At this point, uh, Raymond has notified me that we have coffee and pastries outside. So again, let's give it up for Ms. Howe. And we got some music, what do you music? Meetings adjourned. <laughs>